Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here coming to you from a very overcast and a very blustery, windy day here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. That's right, you are watching the Daily Woo. Why am I in Indiana? I am cruising through, heading to my sister's house, hopefully. I should be there within the next couple hours, but I wanted to do a quick little fantastic pit stop here in an awesome location, right here in this neck of the woods where I'm standing is a fantastic place that I'm about to show you. But first, have you ever had a dream or perhaps a nightmare of a bunch of doctors chasing you? Here we come. We're like zombies, but we're not zombies. We're helping you. We're doctors. But even though you like to be helped, the last thing you want is a bunch of doctors chasing after you. Thwart loads of doctors running after you at rapid speeds. Unlike zombies that walk slowly, doctors will chase you very quickly and they'll definitely rack up quite a bill. And those bill collectors will run even faster after you than the doctors. And what keeps doctors away almost like kryptonite to Superman? Doctors kryptonite are what? Apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. We've all heard that terminology. Where am I going with this? Well, you can thank one man for the plethora of goodness of apples. I'm talking about Mr. Johnny Appleseed, who just so happens to be buried right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The Johnny Appleseed gravesite. Look at this. Johnny Appleseed. An American folk hero. Granted, you have probably heard the stories if you haven't. You probably have been living under a rock because Johnny Appleseed, this man right here, Mr. Johnny Appleseed, is an American hero. In fact, they have a little, little area here dedicated to him, a little information center. His real name here was John Chapman. But everyone knows and loves him and calls him Johnny Appleseed passed away in 1845 right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And his grave is actually right up there. There's some other trees that have been planted here that are not apple trees. What are these? These, these are definitely not apples. But there are other types of foliage and fruit. Look at these. Look at these. What are these? What are these? They look like little apples, but they're not apples. There's some other sort of fruit. Not really sure. Okay, let me show you what I he what I came here for. The existence of this vlog is for this exact thing right here. Look at this. The final resting place of Mr. Johnny Appleseed. He lived so others could actually flourish. He lived to help others. I think that's the saying they say about this guy. Let's go in here and take a look. He basically dedicated his life to going around planting orchards and apples for people. And if they could not afford it, he just said, you know what? Pay me later. A very kind-hearted man who material possessions meant basically nothing to. All he wanted to do was to get the word out to increase the apple population, if you will. John Chapman, Johnny Appleseed, died in 1845. This was erected by the Indiana Horticulture Society. Right here, and you can see how people have placed apples in his honor. And right here, among all these rocks, these decorative, beautiful rocks, is the gravestone and the final resting place of the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Johnny Appleseed. In fact, there's actually an apple right there, look. They actually engraved an apple right above his name. Quote, unquote, Johnny Appleseed. John Chapman. He lived for others. That's what I was trying to tell you a minute ago. He lived for others. There's a little inscription of the Holy Bible. And then the years that he lived. 1774 to 1845. So there he is, right there. Johnny Appleseed. Very awesome wrought iron gate surrounded by another wrought iron gate and these really awesome hedges here and there's also a, a gravestone engraved right here as well if you go out the front this is actually pretty awesome what they've done out here 
to honor this guy in fond memory of John Chapman, endearingly known as Johnny Appleseed. This gravesite improvements were provided by the Men's Garden Club of America and the Johnny Appleseed National Memorial Foundation, Incorporated. 1965 is when that was placed there. But this grave has been here for a long time, 1845. So that's pretty cool. I'm the only one out here. You can see my van down there. There's like a big coliseum over here in Fort Wayne. So if you ever want to come out and visit the grave of Johnny Appleseed, just look for the Coliseum. It's over off to the side of the Coliseum. Just walk up this little hill. Most people probably even realize this is here, but it is here. So if you're in Indiana and you cruise out this way, definitely check out this awesome, fantastic thing. Wow, here's another. Look at this. Johnny Appleseed Festival. They have a festival here. I didn't know this. They have a festival. Johnny Appleseed Festival Incorporated. Gravesite landscaping is provided by the Johnny Appleseed Festival Incorporated. Awesome. So that's really cool. What are any of these apple trees? I am definitely not an expert. I do not have a green thumb. As you can tell, this thumb is not green. So if you see an apple tree, let me know. Is any of these foliage items where that bird is flying away, but that is not an apple tree? Let me know, do you see an apple tree within eye shot here planted near the final resting place of Mr. Johnny Appleseed, a man who traveled around the United States, states and states and states, constantly on the move, constantly planting apple trees, giving people nourishment, and he was a big fan of animals as well as people. He was a vegetarian. He actually even loved insects. He didn't even want to kill a little insect. There's crazy stories about one time he had a campfire going and a bear and the cub of the bear were sleeping nearby. He put the campfire out. That way he would not disturb the bear. And there's another story about a bunch of mosquitoes in an area and he actually put a campfire out because he did not want the mosquitoes to be harmed. So this is a very caring man. I don't, think, I don't really think I would personally care about mosquitoes, but obviously this guy had more compassion in his heart for insects and animals than I do. I, I have a lot of compassion for people and animals, but man, insect, oh! See, I just got an insect, I just got an insect. I have not learned the ways of Johnny Appleseed, but definitely some cool stories about this man that you can read up on and check. He also was never married. His whole mission in life was basically to portray the apple goodness upon the world. There's also another story saying about how if he was never married in life, into the other world, as he passed away, he always thought, maybe I'll get two wives. So maybe, hopefully, Johnny Appleseed has two wives in heaven. Is polygamy legal in heaven, Johnny Appleseed? What a crazy guy.